Sooner or later, it is. If you had a bunch of chemicals and you built a tower, could you make it rain? No. Well, that's, that's the subject of tonight's weird weather. In the early 1900s, there was a gentleman who said he could make it rain. Charles M. Hatfield. Well, he said for $50, he could deliver. Well, Los Angeles farmers said, we need rain. Will you make it rain? He did. And they were so happy, they paid him $100. Well, there was a lake in the area, Lake Hemet. He said for $4,000, he could deliver four inches of rain. So he made this tower and he mixed up some chemicals. Guess what? 11 inches of rain fell and it rose 22 feet. Operators say it was the best bargain they'd ever had. There was another area that needed it. San Diego City contracted him to fill Lake Marina in one year. If he did it, $10,000. If not, he didn't get a penny. January 1st, he put his towers up and started sending his chemicals away. January 5th, it began to rain. January 10th, heavy rain came, kept going. And by January 15th, it had been a downpour for nearly five days. Okay, so the rain did come, and apparently it was Hatfield that was doing it. But look what happened after that. On the 19th, Marina Reservoir filled. The 26th, record-breaking rains were still falling. And the next day... Dams were rupturing, huge amounts of water pouring out of the mountains, heading into San Diego. Twenty people lost their lives. Thirty-five inches of rain fell that month. Well, you can imagine there were lawsuits in the millions. The city council says, nope, we're not going to pay. Hatfield said, I'll settle for 4000 Council said, no. It went to the California Supreme Court. They ruled... That was an act of God. Well, if that's the case, neither Hatfield nor the city was liable for the damages. Also, if it was an act of God, then that means Hatfield didn't do it. City council? Nope. They say they're not going to pay. Well, Charles Hat Hatfield was known by many names. He was a cloud coaxer, a water magician, a moisture accelerator, the wizard of hope, a pluviculturalist, the great precipitator, but most of the time he was just known as... Hatfield, the rainmaker. My. Should have bottled those uh, chemicals. <laughs> well, maybe not. It was I a secret, know. and even his brother didn't know. But the scientist <laughs> of the day said, there's no way that a man could do that. Well, he asked, well, it kept raining. Well, he was guessing lucky. Well, he guessed really, really lucky. He did. He really did. But didn't get his money. <laughs> well, we'll have, no, he didn't get his money. We'll have to find out what happened to him someday.